Does size matter when you're looking for a grand piano? Have you ever wondered what the difference between a baby grand and a concert grand or a semi-concert grand is? Well, today we're gonna to give you some info on the different sizes of grand pianos. Hello everybody, it's Texas Tim Root from Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Today we've got a great video for you, but before we get going, I'd like to invite you to go to our website, alamomusic.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn those notifications on so that way we can let you know when the next videos are coming out. And as always, if you've got any comments or any suggestions for us, please put them in the comment section below. So here we go with uh, what I hope is a great uh, video for you today. Size does matter when you're looking at a grand piano. The number one thing why it matters is how much space do you have in your house or your school or wherever you're going to put it, how much space do you have to actually put a grand piano in there? You know, you may want a seven foot one, but you may only have room for a five foot. So size does matter when it comes to will it fit in there. The other thing is the, the larger the grand, the more sound you're going to get. You have a larger soundboard, you have longer strings. So especially in the bass end, size does matter. You know, the, the bigger the piano, the more sound you're going to get out of it, especially in that bass register. So those are two important things where size really does matter. Everyone always asks me, is this a baby grand or is that a baby grand? So everybody's baby grand, baby grand, baby grand. So really baby grand is kind of a general term for a small grand piano. Actually, there's a smaller grand than a baby grand. So the rundown on, on grand piano sizes and the names of them, it's a general, it's not an exact science. So grands range from about four and a half feet to about nine foot, generally, okay? so. The smallest grands would be a four uh, foot, uh, five inch grand to about a four foot, 10 inch grand. That's the smallest grand pianos. Those are sometimes referred to as petite grands, the very smallest. Then you start at about a 411 to about a five six. That's kind of your traditional baby grand area. Although up to about a 511, you can call it a baby grand. So no one's gonna shoot you for saying baby grand or whatever. But so petite grand, and then a baby grand up to about five, six, and then you come into what you call a kind of a uh, medium size, or sometimes you call them a parlor grand, salon grand, that kind of thing, okay? So a parlor grand, medium grand, that would be about a five, six to about a 511. Once you get to that six foot range, up to about a 610, something like that, that's your classic grand piano. That's a pretty substantial grand piano. Okay, so six foot to 611. Once you get to about 610, basically around the seven foot grand, that's when you get into your semi-concert, all right? So a seven footer would be a semi-concert grand, all right? Once you get to the big dog, which would be a true concert grand, that's a nine foot grand. So these are all general terms. There's no written law that if you miss it by an inch here or there, then you know, you're in trouble. So that's pretty much it. Petite, baby, parlor or medium size, semi conch or a classic grand, semi, and then the concert, all right? So those are the different sizes. And uh, we're gonna show you how you can determine what size grand you have or the one you're looking for. So we're gonna show you how to get the exact size of a grand. Okay, so we're gonna start out by showing you how to measure your grand piano to see what the actual size is. So if you have a grand or you ever wanted to know, this is pretty much how you're supposed to do it. What you really wanna do is just get a standard tape measure and measure from the very edge of the, of the keyboard to the very end of the grand piano. I've got my friend here and producer of all these videos, Mr. Jason right here, and he's helping me. So what we're gonna do is get a little stick. It's better if you got two people, but you could probably do it by yourself. But if you get a stick, you, you put the tape measure right there by the stick, which goes to the playing surface, and then you just bring it all the way to the edge, right? So this grand piano would be a 
So five foot. So is this a petite or is this a baby? This would be a baby grand. Okay, so I, I want to mention something, too, that I, I said in the video is, of course, I personally like the larger grands, but the smaller grands, you can get a great experience from a smaller grand. So, you know, uh, there's no problem getting a five foot grand or a baby grand. They're super fun and they're, they're, the ones they're making now really sound great. So nothing wrong with a baby grand. So that's how you measure it. And that way you can tell, you know, uh, if, what size grand it is. What we're going to show you next is we're going to show you a cool little mat measuring thing that you can get or maybe the, the dealer will have for you so you can get a real visual on if the grand will fit in your, uh, your house or wherever you're going to put it. So we're going to show you a cool little tool that you can use. Most music stores have these if they sell pianos or you could probably even get one online. But the bottom line is we've got a cool little measurement template that you can set on the floor right in front of us. So that way, depending on the size grand, you can take a look and see how it's actually gonna fit in your spot. This one is uh, given to us by Kawhi, which they make some really good pianos. So you can see over here, you've got your different measurements. A five foot would go to here, and then you've got you know, your 5'2", five 5'3", five 5'5", five five, all the way up to a 7'6", all right? If you've got a nine footer, then you, know, you can afford anything, just build your new house for it. Uh, but anyway, so it's really cool. One thing I wanna uh, uh, suggest to you is make sure that when you're, you're using one of these things that you set your bench first, okay? So this line here would be where, where your keys are gonna be. So I might just kinda move up here so my keys will be right here, and then you can get a good, good idea of how it's gonna be. So these measurement templates, uh, actually I'm not even sure what they call these things, but they're really cool because they can give you the shape of the grand and then you can actually have a real visual on how it's gonna look in your room. So these are really cool. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed it. So the question, does size matter? Yes, size does matter when it comes to grand pianos. So thank you for watching. I'd like to remind you, please go to our website, alamomusic.com, check our stuff out there, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on those notifications so that way when we come out with new videos, you automatically get notified. And as always, if you've got suggestions for future topics on videos or you've got uh, questions that we didn't answer or anything, put them in the comment section below, like our videos, trying to build this channel. Thank you guys for all your support. And until next time, Texas Tim Root signing off from Alamo Music Center. You guys have a great day.